What's up guys? Welcome to a new episode. Sorry for taking a little bit of time with this one. Um, to be honest, I didn't have uh, that much information yet. I was waiting to hear on results, but they're in. Not the best results, I must say, but then again, it's been like four weeks that I haven't trained, maybe three and a half. So I'm gonna run you through those. Um, but before we do that, just a quick update regarding the physio. So the NHS actually took a long time to book me in. In fact, it's been, I think, two weeks and I still haven't heard from the physio from the NHS. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not talking badly about them. Um, I think the NHS is an amazing service here in the UK, a free healthcare, um, but I just decided to go private. So going private just meant I could be seen straight away and you know, um, it was it's good news. I've got the all clear to start training and start doing some rehab. The thing that the physio tested for and what he told me, first of all, he tested range of motion so I can now move my arm freely, um, it's pain free, and he said, if you've got full range of motion and you're pain free, start start training, start moving your shoulder, not obviously going heavy, but he said, if you wait any longer, you could actually develop something new, which is called a frozen shoulder. So if I were to wait for the NHS and I was pretty much good to go and could have started rehab, but was waiting, then I could have gone there with something new. So that's really good news. I'm really pleased. Um, and I'm gonna show you later in this video, um, the exercises I'll be doing. Um, so yeah, I've been three weeks not training, roughly. So we have the body composition analysis back. And <laughs> what can I say? This is a shock. This little number here, let's see if this can zoom in. No, not my face. What I'm trying to get to basically is body fat. 18.4%. 18.4%. I was shocked. I mean, I mean, I've, I've not got a six pack at the moment, but I've got some abs. Yeah, so apparently um, the in body says I'm 80% body fat, which is cool, that's fine. We can live with that because it's all about, you know, going forwards. Um, my muscle is at 38 kilos. Um, muscle mass, which is that one there. So to be honest, I'm still kind of like a C, sh a D shape, which is fine. Uh, when you start to go into like a C shape, then that's when your weight and your body fat are high and your muscles quite low. And then you've got an I shape, which is a nice straight line. So to be honest, if I show you here, um, weight is currently 81. So I'm trying to get my face. Uh, muscle is 38 and body fat in terms of weight is 14.9. So the, the weight and the muscle is in over and normal is body fat, which for me is a little bit high. So, but it creates this like D shape here. Okay, so obviously the goal now is to get, in terms of a percentage, BMI we don't use. That was pretty much invented in the 80s to tell people they were fat. Um, but yeah, this is the number we're gonna work on now, 18.4%. So, um, in terms of nutrition, I am basically gonna go for just a small deficit of about 10%, um, because I wanna get a little bit leaner. I'm not gonna be training that hard. It will be, you know, use of the intensity I'm used to, uh, it'll be probably 50%. So, a small deficit, because I don't wanna stress my body too much. And um, yeah, we're gonna obviously get the body fat down. I reckon in two weeks, I'll be probably like 15 um, or maybe 16%. And then the minute that kind of hovers around that number, then we're gonna bump up the calories and we're gonna try and get the muscle up as high as possible. And the body fat will slowly creep down, but just not as fast as it will do this time around. So, hey, look, you know, um, it is what it is. It's fine, but let's just move forwards and um, yes, yeah, just get lean and build some muscle. All right, but it's good news. Um, to be honest, the guys at the hospital were telling me I was gonna be out for three months and now the f I was out for, you know, three and a half weeks. All right, so let's go to the gym and I'll show you what I'll be working on. So the row twist press is an extremely functional exercise. To perform it, you want to row parallel to the floor, externally rotate your shoulder and then press and hold and then reverse the pattern. Now 
Next we have external rotation, also using a band. So on here, just make sure your elbow is tucked into your ribs, that's very important. You can use a towel to make sure you're constantly pushing into the ribs and then just slowly external rotate the elbow and then back again and performing 15 reps. Here we have the Plank Plus. Now this exercise really targets the serratus anterior. So on here, you want to make sure you're in a plank position, make sure your core is nice and tight. Palms are pointing upwards. And from here, you wanna push your body away from your arms as high as possible, and then slowly control back down and repeat for 10 reps. So the final exercise is called a scap pull. Now this is great to target the lower traps and to perform this exercise, keep your arms nice and straight, avoid bending the elbows and then pull yourself up as high as possible and back down again. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you next time.